This is my solar kiln I just built <coughs> for drying my wood off my sawmill. Uh, this down here is a foundation vent, one of them automatic ones that cuts on, opens up about 70 degrees. If you take the pin at the thermostat and pull it out and turn it just a little, this thing won't open until 90, 100 degrees. It's about what I got it set at. And I've painted it all flat black so it get real hot. Around here I got my solar panel to keep my batteries charged. And as you can see, there's a little fan in the side. There's one in each end. Them are just uh, tower fans, the server fans that go in a computer tower. And they draw less than an amp. But they put out a lot of air. Well, anyway, I'll open it up and show you the inside. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's opened up. As you can see, I got it loaded up with some 2x4s that I've cut on my sawmill. Back here, you can see I used a an old uh, mercury type thermostat. And I've got that set at right at 100 degrees. And when this thing gets to 100 degrees, the fans will cut on and circulate the air. Here's the other fan in the other end. And I lined the bottom with that uh, bubble wrap type insulation. There's a metal frame underneath that I can wedge all my 2 before is nice and straight. All my wood, any kind of lumber I put in here. And I ratchet strap them down tight so they won't warp up. And uh, that's basically about it. it uh, like I said, it'll get hot in there. Once it reaches 100, it'll, it'll uh, start blowing air through it pretty good. And with that metal, that metal gets extremely hot. So it don't take no time to heat up. That's it. Pretty simple to make. I know that lid looks heavy. It's 12 foot 6 wide, so I can put 12 foot stuff in it. Uh, that lid is not as heavy as it looks. I don't have any problem picking it up. I thought it'd be heavier, but it's not. That's basically about it. It's pretty simple.